All right, guys, so that was San Miguel Mercado. It's a great little place. I mean, it's a little pricey, to be truthful, but it's a great place if you want to just do like little sample bites as opposed to trying to uh, deal with the whole thing. Um, yeah, especially as a, a solo traveler, um, trying to find little bites is, is hard in most countries, except for Spain. Yeah. Spain is really pretty easy. So we're gonna walk down around. We are walking around what used to be the moat of the original uh, Madrid. And uh, also a great place to find food and bars and all that kind of good stuff. We're gonna check out, I'm gonna show you the world's oldest restaurant, Guinness says so. And uh, yeah, then we'll head to Plaza Mayor. Restaurant. It's been here for a long, long time. I think uh, my tour guide says 1600s. Um, but I'm feeling a little thirsty right now. And I'm wondering, I don't know if this place is open yet. This is where I was going to try the local drink, but it doesn't look like it's open. Welcome to Plaza Mayor. This is where they moved the main market when it got too big for that little one. So uh, it is also, like I said, home to a large information center for you and some really cool buildings um, and great restaurants all around it. You will not be lost for restaurant recommendations in this area. Uh, right now they're still taking down some of the Christmas markets so we can't really get to this lovely statue here um, but it's still pretty cool right oh god I'm sorry the Sun is in the wrong spot at the whole time all right guys let's check it out guys that's it for uh, old town now we're gonna move on to new town and see a couple of sites I hope my batteries last the boss fails I guess I could go back to the hostel and grab my charger but we're gonna just try to make it last um, so there may not be as much talking, just a lot more showing. Um, I'll talk during the important parts and tell you, give you a few things, but uh, yeah. All right guys, let's keep going. was Plaza del Sol, kind of like the the meeting ground for everybody. Try not to blind you, I'll blind myself. A um, couple cool things, the statue of the bear and the tree. Um, that one right there uh, is actually the symbol for Spain. It's the she-bear and Moderna tree. They call it the strawberry tree. I don't know why, but that's where the liquor comes from, the berries from that tree. Um, create their own liquor. So that is Plaza del Sol, kind of like the center point of Madrid. So that's the Prado. Uh, we're not gonna go in, it costs about 15 euros and I'm not really, I mean, I like art, but I'm not really wanting to pay 15 euros. The thing that I'm really interested in is the church behind it, which is the only Gothic church in Madrid. Um, so I wanna go check it out. And much like the rest of the churches in Madrid, it is free to go in. So we're gonna go check it out and then, uh, yeah, go see some other stuff, all right. All right, 
right guys so we oh almost died right there you saw it it would have been on tape uh uh, it looks like it is either closed for renovations or uh, some sort of event, so we couldn't go in, but you saw it was beautiful on the outside. Um, only Gothic church in um, Madrid, so make sure you check it out. It's right behind the Prado, so if you go there, it's five minutes. All right, guys, that is it for over in this section. We're going to head back over, see the city hall, like I said the triumphal arch uh and yeah that's it all right guys see you in a bit guys so this is where I'm going to leave Madrid I am sitting in um, Independence Park I think is what it's called it's right next to the Triumphal Arch uh, which you just saw it's amazing it's beautiful I definitely suggest check out Madrid at night too because the lights are amazing I have really enjoyed it I maybe last week in Barcelona I wasn't as into travel as I was because I was still trying to understand and cope with the loss of my mom but Madrid has awakened my travel spirit. Um, maybe because I feel like my mom is with me. There's a lot of different things. I think she would have really loved Madrid for the food, for the history, for the art. Um, so definitely come to Madrid. It's the capital, so you have to. And that's where I'm gonna kind of live Madrid. Tomorrow we head for Sevilla. And uh, we have only about two and a half months left on our trip. So, wow, um, yeah. This is Madrid, come see it. Until next video guys, wait, make sure you guys check the links below, check out my blog and my social media so you can get the full 360. I'll leave some links to some of the sites we saw as well. And now, until next video guys, safe journey.